Hi, welcome to Logic Labs. We're going to work on the LEDs. This is what the LEDs are going to look like. All of these right here. We're going to be doing this. These are 330 ohm resistors, so you need to get your 330 ohm resistors. Cut them long. Please cut them long. You're going to need nine of them. 330s, orange, orange, brown. Once again, orange, orange, brown. You're going to need nine of them. Cut them long. You're going to need nine LEDs. So go ahead and get them. Stop if you need to. Hit pause. And I'm going to move this up over here. All right, so I wound up cutting them. Yes, they're long. I'm going to fold these down, and you're going to cut them short in a moment. But you, let's, let's, let me show you what we're doing. So we're going to put these here like this. This is in six in the box. This is six, that's seven. Right, and then we're going to plug this in here. Minus side, you see the see the black spot there? You see how the lead is short? The minus is going to go to your resistor. So here we go. Yeah. Let me show you in the schematic what we're doing. Right, you have a schematic, and it looks like this. So we are building these right here. We're doing this. Ground, minus, resistor, LED. The flat spot is here. And then you're going to connect to this over here. Pin 2 is what we call it on this. This here is, an, is a cathode. Cathode meaning negative and anode is positive so cathode anode that's the minus side all it is emit photons photons are actually electrons being spit out using a really cool quantum physics process and you can you we have classes on that you'll actually be taking one of the classes uh, if you take the class vlsi design you'll learn about that in there or if you take quantum mechanics you'll learn about that too uh, in that class really cool stuff so that's what's going on here so we're going to hook up the ground the resistor and the LED and you're going to hook up power or high to here which will go to your parts uh, your circuits when you're I'm building. going to plug the LED in here which is pin 6 and 7 pin 6 will have the the minus side. Now I'm just showing you how it's going in and why we're doing it this way. I'm just plugging it in. So wires are long. Do not hook it up this way. What you're going to be doing is you're going to be cutting your wires and making them all nice and short and clean. Short wires mean that you do not have uh, stuff shorting out. Right. Now where we're going to cut this, you see that you see that flat spot right? Do you see the the shiny spot right there just below that is the right length so I'm going to cut that here just below that you see it you're going to generate a lot of wires save these these wires off the LEDs you're going to use them in the next couple steps shortly All right, plug that in here it fits in, it should snap in nice and tight. Your resistor wires, how long are you going to cut them? You're going to cut them to position three. See that? So I want you to cut them. You're going to cut them at three. Okay. A little bit longer is fine, not much. See that? Can you see that there? Alright, so let me lay that down there. Straighten it out. Got it? That's how long you want. I want you to cut them. You make them longer, you're going to have shorts. You make them shorter, you're going to have no connects. No connects are really fun to find. Shorts are shorts. You're going to find because your battery is going to get emptied. Best case, worst case, uh, you'll mess up your voltage regulator. The voltage regulators are designed to handle short circuits, so that really won't be a problem. But your battery will drain. You'll have an empty battery, and 
that will be unhappy. All right, so the way we're going to do this is we're going to do a zigzag. So let me start cutting the LEDs. Let me start cutting them. All right, got that. Got the spare wires here. Save those. Do not throw them out yet. You're going to need them. All right, and reds only, please. You're going to cut nine. Minus side goes to pin one. Minus side will be the flat side. Remember, I expect you to clean up. If you leave me a mess, I will watch security cameras and I will turn off your owl card and deny you lab access. I mean, you won't be able to get it graded until you come and apologize to me for leaving me a mess. Is that fair enough? I think it is. Don't want to sound like my father. Clean this up. Close that door. Let's talk about closing the door. Keeping the door closed. That would... So, let's talk about keeping that door closed. The door to the main building is not to be propped at any time for any reason by anyone. If you're standing or holding the door for somebody, that's okay. But if you put something in the main doors or the lab doors to keep them open, we will have words. More importantly, I've been instructed by the police chief to give him your name and the video time. You will then get to go see the Dean of Academic Affairs and explain to the Dean why you compromise security. Don't compromise security. It does not go well. People have lost their jobs by compromising security. I've had to fire many people doing so. I did not enjoy it. And then for the rest of their rest of their career they get to check the little box on their job application saying I was arrested. Because when you work in high security businesses you compromise security becomes an espionage. prop the door, don't walk past the prop door, immediately remove the prop. The reason is, at least in this part of the business, is we've had unsavory characters come into the building and cause problems. We do not want that. Right, am I getting this right? Yes, almost. There we go. Alright, so The resistors are going to go in the even spots. So this is 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, and so on and so forth. So, well, that's a big area on. Eight. I'm going to do nine resistors. So you should end at what? Uh, 23. Since you've already got the pattern figured out, you know what length to cut these at. Okay. Do save the wires when you're all done. Make sure your desk is nice and tidy. I am going to say that throughout this whole experience. Oh, it does not matter which way the resistors are connected. 
because resistors do not have a polarity everything else does except for small capacitors and resistors now you're going to ask me what does a resistor do? well we went over that in how LEDs work a resistor is a pile of carbon sometimes or gently very gentle this here is a piece of ceramic and carbon in the right combination to make the correct resistance value resistors oppose current flow they slow it down think of it as a pinch in the pipe and they will heat up also that's a cool thing and a bad thing cool being meaning need all right so every other one yes this is pin this is column 20 so 6 8 10 12 14 16 18 20 22 and you can pull this up and look and see yes that is remember you're making sure that they're every other one so pins go into yeah, I'm gonna bend these just to just toggle them a little bit you see that? There it is. So one LED is not connected to the next. Please don't do that. I've had some people do that. And they're trying to forget what's wrong. So uh, the LEDs are going to go in 6 and 7, 8 and 9, and so on and so forth. All right. So now we have this hooked up. We're done with that. I need to test these. So. We're going to do a couple tests here. First off, I am going to plug this in. Remember, test at each stage. Don't build the whole board and expect it to work without verifying it. So, I am going to plug this into here. And the input to the LED, remember in the schematic? Well, here. Remember when I can show you. All right, so we ground through the resistor to the flat spot, the minus side on the LED, and then to the other side is where we're going to hook up the power. It does not matter if you hook the LED up directly to ground, although it would make the, the wiring look, um, it would be more difficult to be a lot more wire bending. So we're putting the resistor on the other side. LEDs work at, the red LEDs run at about 2 volts. So this resistor, and they run at 20 milliamps. Um, there's a formula, Ohm's law, that tells you how stuff works. Remember, all parts need energy, just like you need energy. So this would be the go in, go, the gozinta. Here's the gozauta. And across this device, the way it works and generates light, is it consumes energy. So consuming energy is power. The measurement for power is current times voltage and so the current through here is 20 milliamps which is 0 0.02 amps and the voltage is 2 volts so how many watts is that that's volts times amps so that's 40 milliwatts so this one's at 2 volts if you put more than 2 volts in it it's going to go poof how do you prevent it from going poof? That's this one little device right here. So you have five volts. Your system's at five volts. This is two volts. So how much voltage does this have to drop? Two minus five is three. So this is going to drop three volts. Without it, your LEDs are going to go poof, and you're going to wonder why. And have a whole pile of bad probably stinky LEDs all right so we have plus over here and let's see if this works huh doesn't work what's going on so what did I do wrong uh, there we go so what's going on here
one do this wrong? No, that looks right. Huh. Well, all right, we know this one works. I'll put this one on parallel. They both should light up. Yes, they do. So, what's wrong here? Interesting. Oh! Can you see what I did wrong? I did not do that on purpose, but I will tell you I did it wrong. Alright, so welcome to Troubleshooting 101. <laughs> nice. I did not do that on purpose, by the way. Alright, so. What did I do wrong? Let's zoom out a little bit. Is that better? Yeah, that's a little better. Alright, do you see this? This pin is going into the plus side. Remember, in order for power to work, you have to have plus and minus. So, alright. Don't do this at home. Turn the power off. Let me straighten this out a little bit. Alright, so I'm turning the power off before I do this. Remember, to turn the power off before you start doing things. That's funny. I did not do that on purpose, but quite educational. Alright, so, does this work? That's why you test your stuff. And voila! It lights up. Yeah, see the shadow down there? Alright, so. On, 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 on. All I'm doing is just touching it and putting it in. Doesn't matter which hole you put it in, but you gotta get it in the crack zone. Alright, did you see that? One more time. Okay. Our LEDs work. Congratulations. Now we're gonna go on to the next one. 